Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tampa, Florida, where a group of frauditors are harassing uh, officers at a DUI checkpoint. And, well, somebody ends up with a brand new set of shiny bracelets and a brand new sh uh, obstruction charge as well. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Eyes on the State. What's up? What's up? Eyes on the State is live. Chuck Bronson is live if you want different perspectives. Those were cop watch live? Yep, sir. John Felix is live. So. Joey Surreal. I don't think he is. Surreal, Eyes on the state surreal live. underscore. Surreal, say what's up. What's surreal up? underscore camera. <laughs> him and, him and uh, Raggle Monkey went to the Miami PD and they were having like a little pig party yes, there. Yeah, we, cool. we, we crashed that party pretty cool, pretty good. He started eating their food. It was wonderful. Okay, uh, let's examine the situation very closely. We've got the idiot behind the camera, who the guy who's going to get arrested. We got Joey Surreal camera, and we got Rago Monkey. Well, between the three of them, uh, they don't have enough brains to fill a thimble. So you know what kind of people we're dealing with here. Yeah, there's about 20 of them back there. Yeah. There, if you, if you need a, they're hey, the ones at, that glow. Look at how many of them are standing over there, you guys. Look at them all. Look at them all just standing over there. You guys are earning your money tonight. So here's everybody out here. Whoa, we're in really close. You ever watch, you ever watch full case files? Back back and Joey, we got all a subscriber here that doing. came down to stay high. And then Hillsborough Cop Watch was oh, around here first. someplace. Well, it is a piggy uncle, huddle. That is exactly what that is over there. <laughs> oh, look at you. Making fun of people who actually have jobs and try to be productive members of society. Unlike you idiots who just go around frauding everybody that you can and being royal pains in everybody's asses. Here's an idea. Why don't you try to get the uh, real jobs and be productive members of society instead of being leeches? Oh wait, you can't get jobs because all of you have lengthy criminal records as it is and it's just about impossible for you to do so. Well, that's not my problem. That's your problem for being complete morons. What? Hey, who's got a copy What's of up? the plan on site? I asked for the supervisor. They won't talk. Who's got the DUI plan? They won't ID. <laughs> they won't ID. They won't talk. We They'll would just... like to uh, inspect Here, wait. the plan that wait. you guys have set up for tonight. Here, we'll who's interpret. Who's in charge? <laughs> they should have a plan. In advance, you should have already foiled yeah. that plan and had it here. What's that and tell that way you? you? All the rules and regulations that they yeah. have to follow. Oh. You know, whether it's federally funded, all of it. I'm you just know, here I'm to just shame them. For this. I, I didn't have enough time. You know? They told us they, they put that it notice wasn't for him, I wouldn't even know. Such ignorance on display with these morons tonight. I mean, is it any wonder why they can't get jobs? Because, well, who would want to hire people that act like this out on the streets? I mean, not just the fact that they have criminal records, but look how uh, they act in the public. Would you want to hire somebody who uh, makes pig noises out the middle of the street to make fun of cops? I certainly wouldn't. We're just following orders. Hitler said all Americans must go through the checkpoint. <laughs> oh great, the false equivalency fallacy and the reducio ad Hitlerum argument all in one package right here. You're essentially comparing apples to oranges. This the DUI checkpoint to uh, concentration camps and everything like that. Oh, how wonderfully ignorant of you. Bravo, you freaking moron. Sieg Heil! Papers! Your papers, please! Papers! None shall pass! Look at this. Driving on the curb. I know it! Driving on the curb to avoid the pig. Aaron stuff as he was following the clipboard. Both of these guys won't give their name because they're ashamed of themselves, obviously. You guys should go on, uh, I guess it's Tampa City Police Facebook and let them know what you think about. Fourth Amendment violating checkpoints. 
Charlie, what's up? Yes, Thomas. We we've been trying to push the people off now yeah, already. Uh, could you please explain how it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment, dude? Because first of all, they're not seizing any of your property or uh, anything like that, and it is perfectly reasonable to make sure that well, people aren't exactly driving on the road intoxicated. You know, to keep people safe on the roads to, and that way nobody gets hurt or worse. I mean, what's so unreasonable about that? Notify the public and that's what they did. Yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah, or Twitter, they use that too. I'm surprised they don't use Rumble so no one sees it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we posted this on the Gazette. So Tampa Police Department Facebook page if you want to redress your grievances Tampa Bay Florida Tampa Florida they post it as an event is how they post it oh it's an event yeah they posted it like in a like it's a party that's why they had all their food and drinks and yeah, stuff it's, a, set it's up. an event yeah an extortion event that's exactly what it is extortion event Dude, if this was really an extortion event, uh, they're really doing a very piss poor job of getting as much money out of the people as they can. I mean, look at how many cars they've let go by so far. I mean, something tells me that uh, you're a complete uh, jackass and don't understand what you're talking about. Man, you guys aren't stealing that much money tonight, man. You better step it up a little. Can't just have Americans Freely traveling around a free country. We don't need that in this country. We don't need freedom. We need our police to crack down on people trying to get home from work. It is not in your face. It is not in your face. Who are you? What's your name? What is your name? Moron. Are you deaf, dumb, and blind? What's your name? Okay, don't ask me to do stuff you won't even identify according to your policy. Uh, yeah, citation needed on that identification policy, dude, because if you can't show it, then you don't know it. I even know you're a cop. All of it. You won't ID. That means <laughs> name and badge number in Pig Latin. He's making my shoes shine. I need NJ up. Wandering News, what's up, man? Buzz, what's up? Phony macaroni. I wonder why he stopped pulling people over now. Hey, yeah. You See, do Thomas, look like Jerry the Whip. It's Are not you? in your face, dummy. It's clearly in. It's I'm shining it on your I'm shoes. Telling you that light's making it hard for me to see. No, oh, it is not. Who are you? Identify. He's doing like the stop resisting, stop resisting when nobody's New school, resisting at what's all. up? You're making it hard for people to be free. Hey, dumbass, we do have freedoms, but there are limitations to those freedoms, and they're called laws, and you just can't drink while driving because there are laws against that. Or do you not understand that simple concept? But understanding how frauditors think, I believe that the answer here is quite simple. You're a bunch of anarchists who don't believe in the law to begin with. You want to do anything you want, whenever you want. Doesn't matter if it hurts anybody or not, as long as you can get away with it. I know it, right, Charlie? They always complain about the flashlights, but they do it to everybody else. Here they come. Oh, here comes a whole bunch of them now here. Look at them. There we go. <laughs> Piggy time. All right, sir, put your hands in your back, man. Thanks, fine, back, sir. For what? What law? Journalists can't use lights. Multiple, multiple warnings about what? Destruction of what? Obstruction, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. That's his property. Yep. He's taking it. 
Oh, you're going to take, you're going to yes. steal property, huh? It's going to get confiscated. Oh. Well, now, uh, that's one freedom that we don't have in this country, is freedom from consequences to our actions. And every time we perform an action, there's always a consequence to that. And, well... You're experiencing the consequences of being a total jackass at this point. Well, enjoy those shiny new pair of bracelets. Oh, oh it is, huh? Let's go. Are you guys doing any good tonight? Let's go. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'll be down to bail you out for just a little while. We got you. Don't worry. Let's get him an identifier. We got you. Complete overgrade. We got you. Strong arm. Look at it. Let's go. Officer, piece of shit. You're a piece of dog. Look at this pack of morons right here. Not a single ounce of brain matter between all of them. They want to call the cops tyrants and everything like that. Well, dude, if they were truly tyrants, then all of them would have been arrested at this point and taken away, never to be seen again. But you know what? This is not Nazi Germany where that was a commonplace occurrence or even the modern day equivalent of North Korea where even your own family would get punished for your actions. But hey, there's no accounting for their uh, collective intelligence anyway. I mean, they're all pretty much stupid by themselves. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.